Welcome to the second part of Cyber Wreckers um, builds and mechs and all that stuff. Um, we're going to be going over the next three mechs he has. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. By the way, guys, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. And we need to get that small percentage a little bit higher. So uh, make sure to subscribe. I will take your family. Um, that's a joke. Don't, don't, YouTube, don't report me. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the video. It's going to start off kind of weird because I split in half, but I hope you enjoy it. See ya. Don't I'll, I'll load this one, actually. Okay. I have two anime mechs. If you're, if you're, if you're fine with me loading those. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I never watched anime. Um, I, I know the art style, but like, I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about it. This is one that I made a long while ago, and if you ever find it in the Hall of Fame, it's actually, um, I've changed its color ever since. Oh, that's nice. It's supposed to be Tsubaki, T-S-U-B-A-K-Y, and it's from a anime that was based off of a game on mobile for uh, Asian servers. Ah, nice. And I was kind of just experimenting when I was creating this because I just wanted to see how I could go because I do legit art of characters and I wanted to see how well I could uh, push my understanding of proportions and uh, anatomy. Yeah. Well, it looks, it looks amazing from what it's like looting. I said amazing like a million times, but I mean it. Um, I think I went overboard with the dark and white on this one. Um, I think I would, the neon is, is fine. I think the neon's fine. It used to be like orangey, red, and a lot more black. This one's kind of like a little exclusive of like a, a summer outfit. Oh. It's got the hats and lighter color clothing. Well, it looks amazing. I know, it, oh, I keep saying that. Um, it looks great. Uh, do you, like, I, I, I bet it could put like a reference image of what the original one looks like. I know it'll be different colors, but... Um, I'll probably do that because I always love to see. I did that with a uh, some other people's builds for comparison. Um, yeah. And they, honestly, I did use reference to create this one. I did uh, go my own way with some of the colors, but yeah, it's uh, you can find the image of the actual render. Yeah. Well, hey, it's that's it's fine. 2D, so like, I just had to really be imaginative with the rest of it. Yeah. But hey, I think that's fine, because you, you, you gave credit to it, you're not saying, this is mine, this is my character, I made it myself. No, you're you're actually saying, hey, I pasted it off of this. But you did all the building of it. Like, that. that's what, that's amazing. Yeah. I gotta say, I, I got, I can't, can't imagine ever doing this, because it's so impressive. It's just... Cool. A lot of the 3D proportions, they had to be lined up from both dimensions. Yeah. Like, I had to take a front view, and then make an outline, then take a side view, and outline that for each part. And this was... I remember, I made this before rotation feature existed. Oh. So I had to do my rotations with servos, or wheels. Dang. You want to know how, like, how long it was until, like, I realized that your rotation was an actual thing? Like, you could rotate things? Well, it's, it's really hard to do before the feature got added. Well, yeah, yeah, but like, before, like, I used, I used to play Dildo since, like, it came out. Um, so I, I wanted to turn blocks there, and I was like, oh, how do I do it? So I, <laughs> I had to use the old-fashioned way of, like, you know, getting the two uh, sideways things. And uh, do, like, side blocks. Oh, did you have, like... Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, it's not in any of my builds, and it wasn't any way you were near impressive. But like, I'd have to launch it, then save it, then like do all that things. I, I, oh, I don't know. Man. I don't know if that's how it worked, but I think it is because I, I just remember it. But like, I do remember like using the wedge blocks to angle things when like that was the first thing that people thought of when the, the like when, when there wasn't because I think before like one of the updates you couldn't like make things unanchored. It was always anchored. Um, and that was like, like painful to work things out for. So yeah, like we'd have stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, 
That's amazing uh, build. I'm, I have another one that I think made boat of the week, I think. And it was actually based off of this model. I literally just stripped this model of uh, its props and then I redid it. Yeah. And I think sometimes you can actually find the reference to this in my profile pictures on Discord. Oh. I'm gonna check that right now. <laughs> I don't have it on right now, but a lot of the times I do. Alright, uh, just send me like some uh, send me it when you, when you get done. Because <laughs> I do wanna like check I, that I out. Send it while it's, I can send it while it's loading. Okay, sure, sure. I'll just put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Oh yeah, from what's loaded right now, it looks really nice and like it's a pretty faithful recreation. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm looking at the reference right now. It was a pretty challenge to think through, like how I'd put it together. Yeah. Not completely accurate, but hey, it's, it doesn't have to be completely like, accurate. It it, it looks. Those... You you speak. <laughs> One of those things that I'm just like, I am not gonna start from scratch on this or I'll lose my mind. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. And I actually went uh, and did a lazy move on the shading of the cape. Mm -hmm. Where I just put like can a bunch of candles behind it. That way from the front it looks like I went and shaded the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, work smarter, not harder. Yep. I don't know, should I make this my thumbnail? Maybe, uh, since that is my profile picture that people know me by. Sure, I'll, I'll use that. This I'll use this one because it's insane. Um, is, is, does it, uh, is it a mech or is it not a mech? Both of the things that I just showed you, they are mechs that can move and fight, but they can only like slide around because they were made mainly for looks. Yeah. Rather than like functioning compared to the other ones that I showed you. I can like walk on their own and dance without glitches. Uh, could I see it walk? I mean, I know it doesn't like. I just want to see it move. Like, I would have never thought to use like dynamite as like a sword. Like. No, a lot of people do that. A lot, a lot of different weapons have been created using the impact of dynamite, which is why just about every mech builder that knows how to use their builds for PvP. They all have dynamite on their combat points. Oh wow, that's that's something I don't know because I, I'm I'm not I'm not that intelligent with stuff like that. It's a common thing in the mech building community. Well yeah, that's if you want like special weapons you need to have dynamite on your build. Well hey, it, it it's it looks nice and it's obviously functions nice. Eh it's um I think the star on the back actually moves if I went onto the uh, seat and made it automatic. If you, you want to hop on the seat and do that for me, there's, uh, a, there's a thing on the ground. It's on the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> that took yeah, me a second to process. Yeah. It's right here. And... Oh. Just hold it down. Yep. Oh, Just hold wow. It down. And I'll delete that for you. Whoa, that's crazy. Does it just keep getting faster? Or well, it has it goes to the maximum speed of the wheel, so that's it's crazy. 50. It's like car fast, so yeah, that's crazy. That's that's it, that's it for this build. I, I really liked putting this one together because it had a lot of different curves that I had to put together, like the armor, the vines. The flames were really interesting to put together. Yeah. Because it, I had to try and put different shades of blue in a really, really bright neon. So. Yeah. It, I enjoyed putting this together. I'm, I gotta say, the flames. I'm staring. I, I can't look away from the flames. The flames are just, like, mesmerizing how, like. They remind me of the soul fire in Minecraft, but, like, better. <laughs> I don't know if you knew. Oh, you, yeah. I know what that is, yeah. Yeah. The blue flames. Yeah, the, those things. That's insane. I I'm, That's I learned a ton this video about like mech building all that stuff. At some point, I do want to have a mech that has a uh, little 
little things with invisible rods that have like I don't know mythical stones or drones that float around and like orbit the mech. Uh huh. That, yeah, that would look. Yeah, that would really look cool. So. I wonder how hard that would be. Idea, I, it, it wouldn't be that hard. I can easily visualize it. As long as you have the rods not sticking close to each other and have some way to retract or even just like Yeah, have it retract. Yeah. It won't be it wouldn't be that hard to put together. Wow. Well, if you ever do make it, tell me, because I'd love to review that too. <laughs> um, so we've got two left. Mm -hmm. One of them is a super weapon and it's really laggy, so I'm just gonna have that one last. So yeah, I'm yeah. Do the, I'm gonna do another one first. And this one actually has a little environment around it. Oh. It has a launch site. Oh, that's cool. I always love a launch site. This thing is actually like a year old. I've just been adding stuff onto it and onto it. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I've even changed it, its entire paint job once, from like white and blue to black and orange. Yeah, that that is like, it looks insane so far. I think, yeah, white and blue and black and orange are the two colors, like t color schemes that really look nice for like mech builds, I would assume. I mean, I'm not yeah. a mech builder, so I wouldn't know, but... They're really nice since they're like really yeah. flashy and give Neon a good attention. Yeah. It, it's not like the annoying five-year-old just put Neon on their paper and just like throwing it around. It's like a professional use of the color Neon and it makes it look like it's like, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Although I feel like I did go a bit overboard on this one since... Um, I tried to make the other one really bright, and then when I just switched it to a much darker one, it just looked like it's a glowing city. <laughs> this is also one of my most diverse use of weapons on a mech, and also one of my most resilient builds. If you have a PvP machine or weapon to attack this thing, it's, it can last pretty long. It can lose its legs, it can lose its arms, it'll live. That's That's crazy. Like, that's really insane. I'm not being sarcastic or anything, that's just me genuinely being surprised because I've never seen stuff like this. I like being a diverse builder. I actually haven't built for like months now, but the things that I do have in my save slots, they're, they're all special to be in my inventory. Yeah. Like, I can't even imagine building something this tier. Like, there's there's a, a certain amount of stuff you can do with like the, the scaling tool and then there's stuff like this that like you have to place almost every block because like you have to angle it you have to do all that stuff and then like you're halfway through it and you realize that spent a lot more time on their builds than i do you know that one that dances i built that in like a day oh um I don't think I've ever spent more than a week on a build. I don't like prolonging the amount of time I take to build something because that's when people allow procrastination and stuff to kick in. Yeah. Because at around the time I was still going through like school and affairs, so. Yeah. This so wasn't the only thing I've been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to show so, me all of it? I think you can. I'll let you pilot this one, actually, since it's uh, really simple. Oh, sure, sure. Just come down here. Okay. Where? Uh, oh, here. You found a portal. Yep. So, so I just go in there. Let's go and sit here. Okay. Sit on this chair. You know the cake glitch, right? You can just put the yeah, uh, yeah. cake on you. Here, I have to delete my jetpack, right? You don't have to. You can leave it on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I just have to do the cake glitch. Just make sure it's not anchored. Yeah. <laughs> that would be counterproductive. I'm going to take off my jetpack only because I'm not good at this. That uh, one you can, uh, I usually put it on the one that's higher, but okay. Uh, uh, I'll do that because... No. <laughs> Never mind. 
Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can just follow me up here. I can't jump off the chair. Oh right, you placed it on the chair in my bed. Yeah, that's the one I usually do because I don't know. It's it's easier for me. So I'm... I actually prepped this thing's weapon since it uses a. Uh, flails that are swung by golden harpoons that are on the back attachments oh so i just fire them at the bombs that are on these little pads here where oh there's little pads with like red rods shoot i fell i have i can still I see you uh, golden harpoons to attach them oh yeah. So you can go and head up here. The pilot area is really small, but I guarantee you it's really well protected for what it is. Okay, so where is it? It's in, It's literally just in here where this red area is pointing. Oh. You hop in there and place another oh. cake to anchor yourself to the build. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm one of the most oblivious people. <laughs> I don't mind. I teach people who are like... I have no idea how to even place a block or something. Uh. Okay, so I, I literally just have to attach a block to these quartz? You just literally attach yourself to that wall with the cake. That's... That's... That's that's something I could do. You should, you should probably just like zoom in, that way you're not like catching on the door. Yeah, go. yeah. I'm gonna go and place a uh, chair somewhere so I can uh, watch this. Okay. We. Okay. That's unanchored? Yeah, that's unanchored. So. Everything that's red, I delete to unanchor the build. So there's three spots. There's two on the bombs. Okay. And there is two on the. Uh, there's those two rods that are by the head. Mm hmm. And once those are gone, you can just use WASD to move around. Oh, wow. Whoa! Crazy. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, activate the vertical. Oh wait, I can't reach it from here. There's jets on the back that you can click to uh, get out of this. Okay. Right. There's the vertical one in between the oh, shoot. orange things. Uh oh. <laughs> Just hit the uh, hit the vertical one. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There you go. And it turns oh, really wait. quickly since it uses a lot of a uh, scaled blocks. It's arms can swing. I I keep the legs stiff. It's something that not a lot of mech builders do, but I do it for the sake of balance because I like it when it's standing up and not like trying to do splits. <laughs> yeah. I always think that just looks weird. So yeah. I just lock them onto the chest and it stands so much better with that. Yeah. I can see why. It looks, it looks more like a statue, but I prefer to have it move like that. Yeah. It, it seems like it's more like easier to aim and stuff with the things if like you're not yeah, worrying about your legs four, too. There's four buttons. Well, there's there's a whole bunch of buttons that I put near that thing to control with. Mm -hmm. There's two orange ones towards the back. Those ones fire the anti-air missiles. Should you I can go and launch some if you like? So there's an orange one down here. Oh. Oh, that's a that's a shield. That's a shield. My bad. Yeah, and sometimes when I'm really close to opponents, I use that to detonate all their dynamites. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Okay, so this little orange guy will... Ah, that's yep. cool. Okay. The nice part about buttered missiles is that they fire much faster than they're supposed to when you're on an unanchored build. Mm-hmm. Which is really nice when you're battling people. It doesn't make them, like, really awkward and they fall to the ground. It yeah. Work so much better. And if you see the, there's two more buttons that are gray. They're kind of hard to see. They're right next to the cannons by the head. Uh. Fire a, if you see on the front, there's a whole oh, row yeah, yeah, of missiles see. that fire in between your shields. Okay. So. And those are on each side of the chest. Yeah, so is is it the buttons behind the cannons? Yeah, it's the buttons behind the cannons. Oops, they fire like six missiles. Why did it just? Oh, I must have clicked it. I'm dumb. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I think it hit the cannon. Oh wow, that's cool. Yep. The 
missiles fire really quickly, so... I see him. I got to see him. Lower frames. Oh, nice. Whoosh, okay. So that's the limited ammunition of this thing. Honestly, it's a lot more flashy when it's like in battle with other mechs. Yeah, I understand that. Everything On looks cooler when it's fighting. So you can go and uh, fly upwards and off the edge, that way this thing isn't lagging us. Yeah. We <laughs> Slowly there just... I wonder where those builds go. Imagine like there's just like some place... If, if Roblox was like... Not how it is. Imagine if like there's some place that there's just a dump pile of like all the things that fell into the void. That'd be pretty... Yeah. Imagine what you'd see. Yeah. You're like, whoa, there's my build from 13 years ago. <laughs> okay, so That's we're going to the... Left <laughs> okay. This one, this next one is a is my last one. It is also, in my opinion, my most powerful in terms of firepower. And also, it's a, it's a walker, but at the same time, it just has legs for balance. Okay. Because, like I said, it's a weapon. It is a weapon. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at it right now and I'm just seeing all the dynamite. That's... That's its firepower. Some people, some of my friends, decide to add more than what you see here. Why would you... Why? <laughs> that's just gonna kill your game. No, this one is actually one of those ones that kind of actually... Uh, it doesn't lag your game as hard as some other super weapons. Mm -hmm. Like, I have some people who can just load theirs in and it lags the game while it's still anchored and nearly crashes when they unanchor. Yeah. This one has a bit more mercy on your uh, on your frame rates. Alright, I'm gonna turn my graphics quality, like, way down. Because I know you said you it's... Don't have to turn down your, you don't have to turn down your graphics unless it's really, unless it's really impacting you. Because it's fine for me and I'm on a non-gaming laptop. Oh. Oh, you have anime on the side. That's nice. Yeah, I didn't like the idea of just having really flat shields, so I just kind of added some stuff onto it. Yeah, I think it adds a lot to it. Um. Like, shield? Why not a canvas? Yeah. I, I don't know if you saw, but if you, you saw this thing, um, it went to Hall of Fame, and ever since. It went into there. I just kept adding on to it. That's that, that's because that's a good idea. It was definitely meant for PvP in the first place. Yeah. And with the friends that I battle, I needed this firepower. Oh, oh, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yep. This is one of one of my response builds to uh things with a lot of armor. Yeah, so it would defeat one of your other ones that... Through. Yeah. So, like, one of the other builds that was heavily armored, this will go through it better? Yeah, this because the missiles in this thing fire really, really fast and are in large numbers. Nice. I just gotta say, the art you made for the side looks amazing. Thanks, man. So, before I do load this in, I think I'm gonna have a- actually no, I have seats in the middle for you, so... Oh, okay. We'll be able to sit somewhere. Cool. I remember I added passenger things in the core. Nice. And one of the special things about this build compared to some others you might see is that its central weapon system can actually aim, and when it does, it can either be set to fire at things that fly, or things that are really short and also deploy its defenses more tightly. Oh wow, that that seems so really cool. Multi-purpose, a multi-purpose multi mechanism. Nice. So, is uh, screwdriver still gonna be bad? Yep. So I'm gonna just uh, reset and launch. Yeah. This one I see you use like the army green with the uh, black. And grays, the reds. It makes it look very industrial. Is that the look you're going for? I don't know. I just I just never built with green much before, so I just wondered how it would look. 
Yeah. It, it reminds me of something like you'd find like a tank or, you know what I mean? So, as you can see, it's just uh, like, its legs don't really function much aside from extending and retracting. Yeah. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Have you ever watched Wally? -E? Um, I have, but I don't remember much of its machines. Oh. Well, in the end scene, there's like these big trash compactors that like... Oh, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's, yeah. I don't know why, but it reminds me of that for some reason. <laughs> this is obviously much more impressive than trash compactor. Oh, wow. That's that. It gets taller if it wants. It's not by much, but I think I just... I don't know why I added that. I just wanted to. Hey, it looks cool. And also, um, I'm just gonna head over to the middle and kind of demonstrate how this thing fires. Yeah. And it, and it's so much power that I have to use a jet going downward to hold it up. So that's what's that's why we're shaking right now. I have a jet that's pushing the entire build down. Yeah. Because once I start firing, it does not hold back. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's like just round after round after round. It's not even like halfway done. That's one solve. I'm gonna go and turn around and fire the rest. Wait, how many does it have? Oh wait, two. I yeah, it has two salvos for its swarms, and it actually has uh th that's not the end of its ammunition. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. Burn everything. It can hit itself. That is... I, I mean, it doesn't hit itself that much, surprisingly. I think it like have 80 things in it. It only has like four that I can count. There's, there's another one that I hide in the middle. I don't know why, but I think it was funny. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, here's my secret weapon. Pew. It's, just, it's a really small one, but like... Still pretty cool. I got head on with ammo. that. I think for a tank that... Not like... I know a tank is supposed to be majorly defensive, but like, this is a tank that's majorly like destructive and offensive. I think it is amazing, and its destructive properties are insane. Um, the artwork on the side is also amazing. I don't know what it says in, um, I don't know what language that is. It's Japanese. Okay, I don't know what it says in Japanese. It says Huajja, or yeah. Oh, the nice. Individual characters mean it's like fire carts. Oh. That seems uh, nice. It means Huaja, yeah. Nice. Like the old weapon that fires like a bunch of rockets. Yeah. That seems and cool. Those things on the top, those are also missiles. Gonna go and fire those too. Oh, whoa! Those That's crazy. Warheads. Yeah. They're not the most accurate, but if you get hit by them in PvP, it will hurt very much. Yeah, that looks insane. I'm glad, like, Build of Treasure has evolved this much to get to this capability. Imagination's the limit, man. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, showing me all these. It was really a nice thing to see. Uh, all your builds Thanks are having me over. really impressive. Um, so I'm probably, we're going to do another video where we're going to look at the other builds you have because I couldn't fit all of the builds in one video because that'd be, honestly, probably two hours of recording and I don't have much disk space left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to, like, I don't know, what do you want? You can leave anything you want here. Want to say anything? <laughs> I don't know, just... I'm a dance now. <laughs> that works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, vote for him for the vote of the month if he enters in another one. Because his builds are honestly amazing. So yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye!